Hello, my name is Icha Suzanne Howe, and you will soon be hearing me as the violin soloist in the Butterfly Lovers Concerto, together with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra and Maestro John Nelson. Butterfly Lover's Concerto is, um, it's a wonderful representation of cultures that are blending together and it's deeply rooted in Chinese history and it, these are things that have been passed along through generations and I learned it from my parents, my parents learned it from, uh, you know, their ancestors and I feel like this is part of the language that we need to share with this next generation. This piece is related to the story of 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 the I feel like understanding some context and history from where you know, this, this beautiful music comes from is so, so important. Because uh, we were here doing the, the Butterfly Lovers Concerto, my parents are, have always been uh, my inspiration, my, uh, you know, my teachers, my mentors. They, you know, I was born with a extremely short pinky finger. And, um, and some would say that if I was uh, studying in China, I would not have been selected, for instance, to study the violin because my pinky finger does not cross the line. But my father practiced with me two hours every day. And he showed me a way, and he never told me that I couldn't do something. Uh, and so I grew up thinking that everything was possible <laughs> because even the most impossible things were possible. Uh, Butterfly Lovers Concerto came to me through my management, uh, and I must admit, it puzzled me. Because after being in China for 25 years, I've been going almost every year to China, I never did any Chinese music. I always did Western music. So this is the first experience that I had doing real Chinese music, and it was puzzling to me. which if you're playing the piano, all the black notes. It's all based on those five notes. The orchestration of this piece is brilliant. And the dramatic flow of the piece is superb. The project of the Butterfly Concerto is really a large project. It's a huge project. And uh, it, it began with a recording that we made. And then it translated into a master class with four wonderful young violinists. And now we're going to go on tour of China with the Royal Philharmonic to uh, let this whole experience blossom. Secondly, we had a master class done by Suzanne with four uh, young violinists, and it was uh, produced by DACAP. DACAP is just simply fantastic. I want to say humanity. I guess I think that the inspiration behind Doc App. An incredible
incredible respect and desire to forward humanity. And fun! Fun! Absolutely fun! It's a very long story, but, and, and it's particularly relevant to the Butterfly Lovers Concerto because this is a piece that all of China loves. It's China's love story. Uh, it's the Chinese version of Romeo and Juliet, and um, I grew up listening to this music at home. Um, they would sing it, they would play it, and so it was always swimming around in my head. And the, the story of butterfly lovers, it's the central character is a young girl and this is a very intimate, personal journey. So from four of you, I heard four very different, unique voices and uh, I would be very happy to help you cultivate uh, these voices into your own version of Butterfly Lovers Concerto. Um, that said, even the first time I approached this music. I, I had to unlearn everything that I learned before to play Western classical music uh, because the approach to the instrument, the philosophy, the story, everything about this piece of music is a little bit different uh, and it affects absolutely everything we do on a minute level. So from the very, uh, I think starting from the very beginning, um, understanding that this was uh, a story, that this is actually the, the, uh, the only violin concerto that has an actual story and text behind every single note. I am so pleased that with the help and support of DACA, which is the world's leading filming company for music education, that we are currently in London with four brilliant young artists. And my parents and I are able to work with them together with the Royal Philharmonic and Maestro Nelson.